Hello and welcome, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be looking at the cards you get for the Hawk 290 for the, from the Most Wanted expansion pack for the Scum of Villainy in the X-Wing Miniatures game. Ok, before I begin, there is actually no model that comes into the, in this um, expansion. All there is is the cards for them. Um, so let's begin by looking at the dial. Okay, well, again, what I've always said about the Scum and Villainy dial is, you know, I think it's a lot more nicer to look at than the other two. And, yeah, you know, nice little symbol, nice little background details. Okay, now let's have a look at the ship card. Okay, with the Hawk 90, with the Hawk, you get one attack dice, two evade dice, four hull, one shield. They can also focus and target lock. Okay guys, I couldn't find my old Hawk maneuver sheet, so I can't show you the actual maneuvers. Um, there isn't a lot of maneuvers for a Hawk, so not the most maneuverable ship in the game. But let's have a look at the pilot cars now. Before we actually look at the actual pilot bit, let's focus on a bit. The artwork in these cars are lovely. Okay, this is the Spice Runner. He has pilot skill 1. Okay, we've already gone through the stats. He, he can have a turret upgrade, a crew upgrade, and the credit upgrade. Uh, I'm not sure what that's called. Again, sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And that is... And this one is only 16 points. Um, by themselves, the, especially a naked hawk is never, never that good in the game. Never tried it, and I've not seen anyone actually do it. Okay, let it focus. And this is Torquil. He has pilot skill 3, and is a unique pilot. Now, I think there's only one other pilot in the game that's pilot skill 3, and that's an X-Wing. So, yeah... Okay, as you can see, it doesn't have a veteran upgrade. And it's 19 points. Okay. At the end of the activation phase, choose one enemy ship at range 1 to 2. And until the end of the combat phase, treat that enemy ship at value 0. Now that could be very useful if this ship isn't... Well, it'll still go, but it, if the ship isn't destroyed... Again, that's not bad artwork. I like the moon in the background. Okay, and then that one, as I said, was 19 points. Okay. Again, let's look at the artwork first. Very nice, actually. Okay, this one is Pilot Skill 5. It's a Palob. Palob, I think. Okay, if we look down at the upgrade, it, it has the same as the other two upgrades. Except for this one has a Vectron, Vectron upgrade. At the start of the combat phase, you may remove one focus or evade token from an enemy ship at range 1 slash 2 and assign it to yourself. Now, that's not bad. You know, near some interceptors, manage to take something like that away from them. Give yourself a focus. Wouldn't be too bad. Or even evade actually, because this ship that doesn't have the best amount of their dodge. And that's for 20 points. Now I, I kind of like that one actually. Shame the pilot skills as low as it is, but yeah. Drace Bone Arm. Again, same upgrade as the last card. Also has a veteran. Bit 23 points. When an enemy ship is at range one to three receives at least one ion token if you are not stressed you may receive a stress token to cause the ship one damage wow that's not bad um it's not fantastic but giving a ship two upgrades sorry two, two damage when you know with an ion token because they'll get one from the original and then 
another one afterwards for the for this for, from this pilot as long as they're not stressed it isn't bad at all that's 23 points now let's have a look at the artwork on this one that's not too bad I like the engines on that yeah that's not a bad one again these are more like support ships guys so they're not gonna be much good them by themselves or without certain upgrades okay let's look at the artwork this is Grado scum only card the first time you attack each round and the first time you defend each round the first damage card dealt is faced up now as I said Grado is quite good if you know you're going to be alright on a hawk I wouldn't even use him um, very dangerous uh, yeah maybe on the slave, the slave one or the uh, fire spray but definitely not on a hawk but you can use them because it's a uh, again the cards I'm using are for, just from the expansion okay auto blast a turret it does two two attack dice in his range one attacking one ship even a ship outside your firing arc your hit results cannot be cancelled by the defense dice the defender may cancel oh uh, crit results before hit results now that's not too bad it's only range one but still kind of scary and that's only two points yeah that's not too bad outlaw tech scum only limited after you execute a red maneuver you may assign one focus stoker to your ship see that's not too bad um, not too sure you know again might not be too bad in the hawk I'm not sure if how many of them they have red maneuvers on them as I said uh, the hawk isn't the most maneuverable ship in the game and I haven't got my sheet with me to definitely check may not be a too bad ship uh, pilot to crew to have again not too sure hot shot blaster three attack dice range one to two discard this card to attack one ship even outside your firing arc again I probably wouldn't use this on a hawk because you can have turrets um, but Again, as, as they've got the credit symbol, it is an upgrade they could have. Uh, so, yeah, I'm saying it's three attack dice, range one to two, and is uh, three points. The K4 security dro um, droid. Scum only. After executing the green manoeuvre, you may acquire a target lock. Now, for me, that's not bad at all. Uh, again, probably more for a pi higher pilot, sort of, uh, maybe like Bubba Fett. Well, even these guys actually might not be too bad if you had, like, ion cannons on them or the some others. Again, that's a crew upgrade, and that costs three points. Okay, guys, well, that's my last video for Wave 6. Um, I'm probably going to start doing some videos for Armada, looking at some of their ships, what you get in the core set, and what upgrades from the core set you could use. Um, I'm also going to be looking at the X-Wing core set. I still actually have a, uh, one upstairs. The box has still got most of its stuff in it. So I'll be doing a video for that and working my way along. Um... I'm looking at some other stuff. I've received an, an update that they're getting closer with the uh, Kingdom of Death, so I wouldn't mind showing some stuff with that. Don't want to give away too much, though. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, look, guys, I hope you're having a good night. I'm a little tired, but I've had a good day. See you later.